Chandu, the magician. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The makers of White King Granulated Soap present for your enjoyment, Chandu, the magician. And just as you enjoy listening to this radio drama of romance, intrigue, and high adventure, so you will enjoy using the soap we make. White King Granulated Soap. White King was the first washing machine soap ever made anywhere. When it was first perfected 30 years ago, it was a brand new idea because it was a granulated soap, not a bar soap. And it worked as no other soap had ever worked in a washing machine. No washing machine works any better than the soap you use. And today, White King, a good soap for 30 years, is improved in quality, better than ever. There are many soaps on your grocer's counters, but none like White King for your washing machine. You will love White King granulated soap. And when you buy White King tomorrow, save the box top and tell your friends to save their White King box tops, too. In Roxor's rooms in Cairo, Frank Chandler, known in the Far East as Chandu the Magician, pits his occult powers against Roxor to save the life of Princess Naji. He is about to succeed when Abdallah, the young Bedouin chief, inadvertently calls Chandler by name and precipitates a desperate physical fight with Roxor's Arabs. During this fight, Abdallah is stabbed, trying to save Chandler's life. Later, before Abdallah's death, Chandler learns that he had set fire to the house and that the malevolent Roxor has probably died in the flames. following afternoon, in a stifling, airless hut at the edge of the city, a man in European dress sits uncomfortably on the floor beside a mat on which a crudely bandaged Arab is lying. Chandu, the magician. And you were the only one I could find, Hafiz. I suppose the others have gone to cover until they see what's going to happen. Uh... Oh, Hafiz, don't you know me? I'm the Wagam. I don't speak Arabic. But you speak some English, I know. Remember the day we arranged the accident to Mrs. Regent, the sister of Chandler? Of course you do. I, I know. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Now tell me, Hafiz. Is Roxor really dead? House burned. Really? Roxor tied with ropes. Abdallah. Abdallah? Uh, Did he bring Chandler there? Then it wasn't magic after all. Lam Yelum. Oh, speak English, Hafiz. Oh. I don't wonder you're miserable. This place is an oven. I, uh... But I have to get some answers. Where's Chandler now? Do you know? Obama. Algiers. Algiers? Good. <laughs> now listen, Hafiz. Roxor may be dead, but his work's going right on. From now on, you'll report to me. Oh, no. No. Roxor. The death of one man, even Roxor, can't stop it now. Oh. I need to gather up the loose ends here before I go back to Europe. So I'll be in Cairo for a while. Most Taib. What? Not good. It's very good. Now no, listen, no. Hafiz. Stop shaking your head. I am just a tourist. Do you understand? Uh. Tourist? I'll need a guide. Now, give me the name of a well-known one, a man who's been working at it for years. Yeah. Come on, come on, Hafiz, think. Yeah. Ali Magoub El Gabri. Ali Magoub... Wait a minute. I've heard of him from the Regents. Where do I find him? Pindik uh, uh, Mansal. What? Uh, hotel. Oh, ask at one of the big hotels. I, I ah. might, Pindik, but... But uh, nothing. Now, you hurry up and get out of here. I need a good man like you. (laughs) 
You might tell me something about the pyramids before we get there, Ali. You have not read in your books, Effendi? Oh, these? Well, yes, but a man like you must know a lot of things that aren't in the books. My people built the pyramids, Yassidi. The Arabs? <laughs> That's not what the books say. I am Egyptian. Oh. My own people were of those who brought the great stones and set them one by one. My family. Well, that is something. You do not believe, Effendi. Oh, of course I do. I tell you, my people were slaves of the king. All right, but how do you know? The records don't go back that far, do they? Records? Writing, papers, you know, uh, parchments, whatever they had in those days. The writing is in the minds of living men. What? Hey, look here, Ali. I don't suppose there's anything in it, but uh, did you ever hear stories of, uh, well, of magic in the pyramids in the old days? I know them well, Yasidi. They are just stories, of course. Lais! They are truth! Ah, well, at least they make good local color for the tourists, is that it? Tales to tell. Effendi. Hmm? You know the Sphinx? Well, I, I haven't seen her yet, but I know about her. Why? With my own eyes, I have seen a man open the way to the temple of black magic below her feet. Really? When was this? Two weeks. I'd rather like to see it. What's down there, Ali? I did not walk down the black stairs. But I know the priestess Oriunda. She who makes her black magic for 6,000 years. Ah, you really believe it, don't you? I have seen Effendi, and I am not alone. There are those of Egypt who know the secrets, even today. Oh, you don't mean the Princess Naji, do you? The mysterious lady nobody ever sees. It is so. Ah. Her people were rulers in Egypt when the pyramids rose from the desert sand. So I've heard. Ali, do you know this princess? I was wondering. Effendi. I'm a dragoman. A guide. Well, even so, if your family's been connected with hers for 6,000 years, you might be on speaking terms. You wish to climb to the entrance of the Great Pyramid, Effendi? Oh, all right. I'll take a look at the pyramids and the Sphinx and go back to town. <laughs> Stuffy about your princess, aren't you? <laughs> Will tell the princess what I have said, Chandu. I certainly will, Ali. She'll thank you herself when she sees you again. I do not serve my princess for words of thanks, Effendi. You do not say I did wrong to speak of her to this Ferengi. You didn't say anything you shouldn't, Ali. Oh, wait just a minute. Dorothy! I'm in here, Frank. Thought I'd get some letters written before we left for Algiers. Oh, good afternoon, Ollie. Araktaid. Dot, do you know when Nadia will be back? She said she wouldn't be long. You'd better wait then, Ollie. She'll want to see you. Ollie's run into a tourist who's been asking him some pretty pointed questions about Egyptian magic. There's nothing so strange about that. It's the first thing you think of over here. Yes, but um, he was asking about Nadia, too. What? Ollie. Tell me what this man looked like. A Ferengi, Chando. Well, all foreigners don't look alike. Well, maybe they do to you. Was he as tall as I? Dark hair? Tall like you, but his hair... Asfa, Chando. Yellow. Blue eyes? Aiva, you know him? I'm beginning to think I do. Gordon Douglas. Well, sounds like him, but... He told oh. Ollie his name is Masters. Well, maybe it is his real name. He wouldn't go on using the name Douglas after that business in Rome when the real Douglas was found dead. It surely wouldn't come back to Cairo inquiring after magic, after the way you frightened him either. I'm not so sure, Doc. Roxor told him to find out all he could about magic from me. Well, Roxor's dead, isn't he? He must be. You can't imagine what a shambles it is down there. Was that where you went this morning? Yes, among other places in the native quarter. You know, it's a miracle the whole quarter didn't go up in smoke. Then if Roxor had any... any papers there, they're all gone. You should see the place, Dot. But uh, Douglas, or Masters, or whatever his name is, 
was one of Roxor's key men. But he's in Istanbul. You heard Roxor say so. It's not far away but plain. But the how Suppose he... he heard the news from that fellow Hamid. Douglas might possibly have the idea of taking over Roxor's organization. Well, if he has, I hope he knows where Robert is. Well, don't count on that, Doc. Abdullah always said Roxor never told anyone. Uh, Chando, you will permit. What's the matter, Ali? If I am late, the Effendi at the hotel will ask where I have been. Oh, yes, it is getting late. Well, you go along, then. The princess will send Abu for you later. The Armani Lodge. Mm-hmm. You've done very well. If I can just find out what Douglas is up to. If it is, Douglas. But we're leaving for Algiers in the morning. Well, I'm sorry, Doubt. You know I'm as anxious to leave as you are. Well, then? But there's a police inquiry about the fire and Abdallah's death. But it'll take only a few days. Oh, a few days? Roxor may have left orders in Algiers to have Robert killed in case anything happened to him. Well, that's one of the things Douglas may know. If there were only someone who could... Ollie's no good for that kind of thing. What kind of thing? Surely you can tell whether Ollie's tourist is Gordon Douglas? Well, I don't want him to see me until... Where's Bob? Upstairs with Betty. That poor child. Oh, I wish we could get her away from here. Yes, I know. Abdallah's death was a very bad shock. Bob feels almost as bad as she does, too, because he's always said you couldn't trust Abdallah. Yes, it's too bad we couldn't leave for Algiers today. They'll be all right once they're away from here, where it all happened. Frank, why don't I take them on a trip up the Nile until you're ready to leave for Algiers? We won't have to appear at the inquiry, will we? No, but uh, I was wondering if Bob couldn't give me a hand with this Douglas business. Bob? Now, you're not going to get him mixed up in it. <laughs> I'm not going to send him out at midnight to spy on Arab cutthroats. Well, you certainly aren't. Wait until you hear what I do want. Well, if it's only to see if the man's really Gordon Douglas, I can do that. Yes, but... Dot, that's an idea. You might get the whole story out of him. Would you like to try if there's anything on earth I can do to help find Robert, you know I will. Well, I don't know. Oh, Frank, it'll be the first time since we came over here with you that I won't feel I'm just in your way. What do you want to find out? First, why he's still so curious about black magic. After what I put him through the other night. All right. Only you're not supposed to know anything about that. Oh. I'll tell you, Dot. This is what we'll do. <laughs> Before we bring to a close our drama tonight, may we say one brief word about White King Soap for summer wash days. The warmer the weather gets, the more dirt the youngsters seem to collect on their clothes. And that is when you need the wash day help of White King in your washing machine more than ever. For only honest-to-goodness soap suds can wash dirty clothes really clean. And if you think that everything that comes in boxes is soap, or if you think all soaps are pretty much alike, we suggest you try White King. You will find that everything from cowboy jeans to bright, pretty cottons, from bath towels to work clothes, comes out fresh and clean when washed in White King suds. White King washes off the surface dirt and washes out the hidden dirt, the deep down dirt you cannot see. Try White King in your washing machine, won't you? Know what you'll say? You'll say this. I love White King. Chandu the Magician is presented for your enjoyment every weekday evening. Frank Chandler is played by Tom Collins. The makers of White King invite you to listen tomorrow at this time when the story resumes. Chandu the Magician. This is the Mutual Don Lee Broadcasting System.